Hello everyone, bonjour, bonsoir. I hope everyone is well and staying healthy. Hola para los brasileiros que ven. Muito obrigado. Um, não falo, mas aprendi, estou aprendendo. E espero que todos estejam bem. I hope everyone is doing well. I just had to say a little hello to my people who watch in Brazil and leave me comments in Portuguese. I do not speak Portuguese, but I'm learning and but I am able to read and understand and write you guys back the best way I can. But um, yes, I do see you guys. Thank you for watching. So here is a post-quarantine lock. Retwist on some starter locks. She started her locks before the stuff hit the fan. So she has been pretty much trying to keep up with her hair until the mandate was lifted for our state. So what I'm doing here is after I wash her hair, I am now separating her hair while it is wet. And I'm trying to get some scalp to show and it looks like her hair was super super matted but the great thing here is that her hair was very new very new starter locks her hair is basically a fro with coils on the ends so there wasn't much um, that had to be done of course there was a lot of work to do in terms of maintenance but when it came to separating the hair it wasn't that bad um, making sure the hair went into the respective lock it was not that bad at all i was able to pull it pull hair from one lock to the other which you should be able to do when the hair is still very very young in terms of the locking process so it's not necessary to rip and and try to cut um certain parts of the hair just because it looks super matted if the hair is very new to the process you can really just pull it out um, just feel the hair out, see where that stray hair wants to go. More than likely where it, where it naturally falls into is the lock is, it belongs to. So I usually start, no matter if it's a, a, a hard job or an easy job, I always start from the back and I work my way to the front. Some people like to start on the side. I love starting in the back because I save the front for last it's like my little treat for when I'm done I get to see I get to do and see the front and the front usually has more going on than the back so that's another reason so basically to retwist I'm gonna this video is gonna be mostly you guys watching and I'm just explaining before I let you guys watch the rest of the video so I am pretty much gathering the base of her hair first and then whatever stray hairs that are there, I'm going to wrap it around the lock, all the way down the lock from the root to the tip. Now her hair did very, very well in terms of starter coils and she washed it at home, I believe twice. And we kept in good communication about what she should and shouldn't do. And I told her, make sure she washes. Washing will not hurt anything. Um, I should still be able to find her parts and that was her biggest worry is that she could not see her parts anymore. I told her as, as long as you, you can see coils, you will be fine. I will find the parts. Don't worry about it. Just make sure your hair is clean. Water is a huge, huge, it plays a huge part in your hair locking, your hair matting, your hair coiling upon itself. Water plays a huge role. That's why washing your hair is so very important. As you can see, her hair has done its thing. She couldn't see it when it came to just looking at the fro. It looks like, oh my gosh, what is this? But for someone who does locks and able to see that, her hair did its thing, okay? We had a lot of budding. We had some firm areas, especially in the back. Her hair was not playing. Her hair was like, yes, you should have locked me up yesterday. One important thing I wanted to show here was clip placement and how I do a clip placement. How you clip um your first few rows is really important to how the rest of the hair is going to be clipped now a lot of people like to people do it differently um this is just my way of doing it i like to use the least amount of clips possible 
for comfort when it comes to comfort while retwisting and then comfort under the dryer because when those clips get really hot and you have millions of them on your head, um, inevitably your head will get hot. So I like to use as, as the least amount that I can. So this is how I do it. So after I do the first row, I'm going to go in and reclip the first row. I do it with one clip and I clip it to the towel to keep the length to keep it stretched out but once I'm done with that row and then I may do a second row depending on the size of the locks her locks she has a lot of locks and they're on the small side so I'm gonna do two rows before I start adding and doing the clips like I want to do them so you guys will see that later on how I do the clips and that is my base as to how I clip the hair going forward So this is what I was talking about earlier with the clips, how I reposition them and I have my first two rows done. So now I'm using clips alternating in different directions all the way down that first two rows. Each one will have five to four clips. It doesn't matter however many um, it takes to get that together. And now when I retwist the next rows, I'm gonna add that lock to the clips that I already have. That way the lock can be clipped from the base to different sections within the shaft. And I'm gonna keep that going up until I get to the front of the head and then when the locks are, are not reaching those clips right there, I'm going to add more clips to keep the clips going. So the idea is to keep clips on most of the lock. So from the base all the way to the end, it's best to keep, keep clips on there. So all that lock wrapping you're doing and all that palm rolling you're doing, that progress is preserved and then you can dry it and it's still fine. And in the next wash, you will see that progress.
And this is what her hair looked like out of the dryer after one hour. As you can see how I told you guys about the clips all the way down the locks. And this is her final result. This is her very first retwist. I was very happy with it for a very first retwist. I was happy that her hair was able to continue on in the journey. Um, she told me she almost did not continue because it just was looking crazy, but I'm glad she did. It's looking amazing, and I can't wait for 
the rest of her progress as she continues on in her lock journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay healthy and take care of yourselves. And bye-bye. Ciao.